Please take your seats quickly. Ladies. Hi guys and welcome to One Minute Tennis. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the acceleration of the racket. I want to talk to you about why pronation happens naturally and it's a byproduct of the correct acceleration. And I want to show you a really simple trick on how to achieve the right racket speed at the right time in your forehand. Now, the problem that you see very often, even in very high level players, is that the acceleration of the racket is long after the contact with the ball. If you have a player shadow stroke or if you shadow your own forehand and listen to the kind of whoosh that's created at the fastest point of the swing, then very often what you hear and see is this. You see a nice swing and the whoosh is here, long after contact with the ball. If you listen to any pro player, then you'll find that fast sound is much earlier and it's in this area here and not after contact with the ball. It's right through contact with the ball. And I think this comes because many players are consciously trying to pronate. Now, pronation is important, the turn of the hand causing angular momentum and creating more racket speed and more power. And this is clearly important in the modern forehand stroke, but it should be a byproduct. If you make the right acceleration of this stroke, if you have the right setup to drive into the ball, then the a pronation should happen automatically. And I've got a great trick to help you find that movement. What I suggest you do is you go into your take back position situated very close to a fence such as I am here. So go into this position here and then push with strength the racket against the fence and it's creating tension. So once again, I'll be going, if I was showing you from the side, I go into my portrait position here. It can be the next gen take back. It can be Federer's take back. It doesn't matter. It's like a portrait position. So the racket is at head height and I force it into the fence with stress and tension. And now from there, I'm going to swing through and make the stroke. And as you get a release from the stress and tension of pushing against the fence, then you get tremendous racket speed at exactly the right time and pronation occurs totally naturally. Let me show you what I mean. I put the racket into the portrait position. I have the stress and tension. I now rotate around and swing. Again, holding the racket and pushing with stress and tension into the fence, around and swing. And once again, with tension, around and swing. And when you make the stroke this way, then you'll find that the acceleration is so early in the stroke, it's going to occur exactly when you hit the ball. And the pronation finish is totally natural. Then obviously we move away from the fence and we try and make the same movement without the aid of the pressure of the fence. So I move into the portrait position. I imagine the stress and tension here. And now I swing around, I release and swing. Stress and tension, release and swing. When you make the stroke in this way, with the tension out here, and then the acceleration immediately after the tension to the side, then you'll get the fast, aggressive racket speed at exactly the right moment in your stroke. It really makes a huge difference, and you'll see that the power and spin and therefore control all become easier and better. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works for you. I think it's a great way of producing racket speed. And remember, pronation is not contrived. It should just happen. You shouldn't be thinking about ending that way. It will just happen. It's a byproduct of this acceleration at the right point of the swing. Thanks for watching and let me know how this works for you in your game or your player's game. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel, please. And remember, if you need more help with your game, we do a one-to-one -one consultation service. It's pretty unique in tennis and the information that for that is on the website below. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.